morning guys it's about it's about 11 o'clock i had a pretty crazy dream last night and one of the things in my dream was about that job i was applying for um i haven't heard back either way so like all last week we talked last time i talked to somebody was on friday not last friday but the friday before Today's Wednesday. And so I wanted to give them, obviously I don't want to follow up on Monday being like, hey, what's up? And so I was just kind of waiting, and usually I hear back within the week. So I was waiting to hear back by Friday. But I didn't hear back on Friday, then it was a holiday weekend. So Monday was out, and then I didn't want to bother them on Tuesday because it's like, like a busy, like you're catching up from the holiday weekend. So it's Wednesday, so I followed up with him this morning. And I'm like nervous because if I haven't heard back, like is that a good or a bad thing? Does that mean they're just like interviewing other people and I haven't heard back because of that or what? And then um, like do I want to hear back? Like is it gonna be bad news? Or is it gonna be good and or do they just forget? I don't know. So my mind is like going through like a million different options. And now every time I get an email, I like freak out. That's like how I was last week. Like I would like get an email in my inbox and before I could see what it was, I was like just waiting. And I just hate this feeling. Very anxiety inducing. Ashley and I have a class with Tracy. <laughs> so we asked me first class with her. So that should be interesting, considering she's like so hard and Ashby said she would never take her class. So I'm gonna bike down there, but it's pretty cold out. I realize my upper body is fine, but I keep wearing like leggings. <laughs> so I'm wearing these peak pants again. And the thing about these, so you should kind of show lines. <sighs> okay, I need to de-stress. And I will see you guys at SLT. Okay, SLC is done. It's snowing, which is random, so I can't bike home now. Ashley is gonna go babysit and then you gonna come over and then we'll, we'll film and catch up. I feel like I haven't seen her in so long. I haven't checked my email yet. Probably do it once we shut off the camera. I didn't want to do it before I went to class. It's 3.30 and Tracy's class like hit me. Like a ton of bricks. I am exhausted. I am sore. I like every part of me just wants to. Oh, so I came home. Well, we got back and I went to the local bodega. I picked up an Italian sandwich for lunch. I picked up um, some stuff for dinner since Andrew will be gone. He's basketball tonight. And I was like freezing because I walked outside and it's obviously snowing. And then I decided to lay down just on the couch. I am just like so exhausted. I'm worn out. Ashley's coming over um, probably like 30 minutes. We're gonna film our video cast. I got my Sephora order in. A little mascara. And then the tinted face oil. So let's try this out. Oh, that cost was so hard. <sighs> okay, so this is from Kosas, 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 and I got in the color two. It says shake well before applying. Put on some moisturizer this morning, but I feel like it wouldn't hurt to put on like maybe a little bit more. Let's just give it a nice good spritz. wake everything up the only thing i've seen about this stuff is tati's video and she says that it's supposed to be like a really quick like no blending needed foundation but she did still blend it she said it needed some blending so we have a beauty blender here just in case but for the most part let's just use our hands and see what we're getting into i was between going with number two or number three um but i feel like i'm pale so i just went with two Okay. It'll, the only instruction says shake well before applying. 
interesting. So it literally just looks like runny oil. Definitely feels interesting. I don't know if it's like my skin or my palms. But it's definitely interesting. Okay. That was like pretty quick and easy. I definitely don't feel like I need to blend it out anymore. But let's just try one side and see what that does look like if we were to. That was like very easy yeah that's crazy it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face but I do just so quick I, I looked up and it was just done I need an instant replay I feel like this color is fine it's like a little light or maybe it's just because my face is now flat but it really truly doesn't feel like I have anything on my face I'm and it doesn't feel oily either, which that I think maybe most surprises me because this was just straight oil. I like it because it gives me a really nice even complexion, but it seriously doesn't feel like there's anything on my face. Let's go get some concealer and see how it goes with it. So we're going to try the Charlotte Tilbury under eye. So I haven't tried this since the last time we saw this together. Just pulling that out with this sponge. I think I'm gonna have Ashby try this too. See what she thinks. Cause she like never wears makeup. She doesn't wear foundation or anything. Sometimes put on a little bit of concealer and a little bit of blush. She's really gotten into blush lately. But other than that, like nothing. Like does my neck look the same color? I think maybe I should put a little on my neck. Like it's so liquidy. It just feels like I'm rubbing like nothing into my skin. I think I really like it. I wish I put on like a tiny bit of bronzer to help us look a little less flat. It really just feels like I am putting makeup on my regular skin and not like I have foundation on. Like yesterday when I was wearing just like that really light coverage, I was moving around my turtleneck like this as to not disturb my makeup and I definitely hate the way that feels. I think it's probably just because I don't wear makeup that much that when I do have it on I'm very aware of it and I feel like this foundation wouldn't be the case. Um, the only thing is I don't think that like I would wear it ever just like alone because it does give good coverage so it's just it would make your face very flat. I think I like it. Let's just quickly set my under eyes. I love this powder so much. Put a soft little amount of my blush. I'm trying to take this same stippling brush. It's much easier and quicker to do a brush like this. I'll put a little bit of brow gel on. And then I'll take you guys closer to the window so you can see my skin looks in natural light with this foundation on. I'm definitely gonna have Ashley try it to see what she thinks, to see if her reaction is like kind of the same as mine. So here it is in like bathroom lighting. I guess I should've done this before I put on the rest of it, but it's like really snowing. I really like it. It doesn't feel like there's really anything at all there. Um, we'll have her try it out before we get ready for our podcast and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, just setting up um, the set, <laughs> the set with Ashby um, for our uh, video. This is literally all we use is just a ring light, um, but it was giving me good lighting. And like, I put on, so I put on like a touch mascara just to really give it a full, I kind of care look. Um, and I'm like kind of obsessed with this foundation oil. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day to see how my skin reacts. Um, this highlight is just, or this like shininess right here is just the blush. Um, as you know, it like comes with a little bit of highlighter. So when I put it right here, move it up, that's like what that is. So we'll see if like the oils start to like really pop up in other places or if it breaks up. Just do like a little mini 
makeup review. Um, but I'm going to wear those for the rest of the day. And I'll also record um, Ashby's thoughts and have her test out too. So it should be fun. Hi. So Ashby's here. Hi. Hi. So you guys just saw I put on this new foundation. I got this like really. I was like, wait, you have a beautiful face. And I right? just was like, I got to What do you think of it? It looks amazing. I don't know what I'm comparing it to, but your face looks awesome. Thank you. So yeah. I just got in this foundation that is like an oil based. You put it on your fingers and you like smooth it on and that's it. Shook. So you're gonna, gonna try put it out. On, are you gonna put it on me? You get to put it on you. Okay. It happened so quickly for me that I like wasn't, I was like, is oh. that it? Oh, so I, wonderful. So you're gonna put it on. Okay. Um, I'll put you in the mirror. Do you have anything on your face? I have nothing. Okay, we'll give you a little spritz just to hydrate you. Okay. <sighs> But I was like, Ashley's gotta try this out. Yep. And then. Feels great. Yeah. Feels great. Okay. Nice. So. Lux treatment. It's a tinted face oil. That's <gasps> not gonna Which break you out. Which does not make me feel good about my pores, but I'm here for it. No, I know, but like, it doesn't. It's so it's like avocado oil. Perfect. And like, so my like favorite that. kind of oil. So I'm gonna put a little bit on your palm. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix it into your hands and then just smooth it onto your face. Okay. Wow, no beauty blender or anything. Yeah. Okay. That's it. So. Oh my god. Wait, do I look in here or look in a mirror? Wherever. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And Where? So it's like massage and like you're moving in um, like lotion. Right. Oh, this is weird. Explain what you're feeling. Uh, not good. Oh, what is that? It's a. Uh, my face is dry. Oh. And it's clinging to. The dry parts? The dry parts. I mean, it just dissolves so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy, though? Yeah, it is crazy. You gotta exfoliate. I mean, I'm also not a big foundation gal, so I don't have a lot to compare to, but right. this doesn't... This is, what is a, that? a little alarming. Is that you're repealing from Disney? Didn't notice. I don't put anything on my face. Okay. So this is not something that I would have... We're, we're gonna try again. Sorry. Okay. But I can pretend okay. like it worked. No, it's going to work, but you just need to oh. exfoliate your face really quick. Okay. So... I have this for you. No, it's part of the process. Guys, I don't exfoliate. So Spoil wait, let's spoiler. show you what is happening on her cheek. So it's just dry skin. Yeah. Um, I assume it's from like the chlorine at Disney. Yeah, I was at Disney. I was so in the pool. What you're gonna do is take a little scoop of that. Should I wet? Let me wash my face. This is gonna take off your makeup. Oh, okay. Like a little bit more okay. and just like break it down. And that will just break up makeup. Okay. And then wash your face and use the Tula wash. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So you're going to stick your uh, two fingers. Okay. The most fresh faced <laughs> ever. Stick your two fingers into this. Okay. What is like it? Right here. It's a skin pad. Okay. So two fingers. Yep. And pull it out. And then move that all around your face, like in circular motions. Uh huh. And just do that for like a minute or two. It doesn't feel like it's exfoliating. Just wait. The other side is exfoliating. This is a oh, serum. Okay, yeah. I was so like, you're gonna have like little white pills of serum coming soon. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Oh. And wow, then, look how interactive this is. <laughs> coming soon. Oh wait, here they are. Yeah. Hello, little pills. Hello, little pills. And get your nose and your forehead. White pills. Uh huh. Uh huh. And now flip it over to the blue side. And that's exfoliating. So really massage it in one to two minutes. Wow, wow, wow. And that should help your dry patch of skin. <laughs> Did not know I had a dry no, patch, me but my my do I ever. And then I feel like I need a real pumice stone. Yeah, so Ashley doesn't like really ever do anything to her face. Do you, that's not true. Do you wash your face? Yes, I wash my face with cleanser every single day and I apply eye cream and lotion. Oh. Yeah, and that's actually, to be honest, new in the last like five months. Right, I was about to say but it's very. I'm very loyal about it. Good, but I never put any makeup on my face ever. Right, and then just wash off your face as well. Like a little rinse. Now you're gonna put on some hair. Golly, ooh, and just moisturize. Nothing else you got. Well, do you want to try this again or no? I mean. Yeah, to see if that whole thing just worked, but no, it's not going to. I don't feel good about it. Okay. So do the same thing. I'll give you a little bit more. Oh god, I'm nervous. And just rub it in. Aren't you? Wow, it's so. I feel like a mask on. But it like it's so oily at first, and then it just like it like goes dries away to nothing, and it feels like you're not wearing anything. And that's why I thought you would like it because you don't really like heavy totally stuff on your face. 
Yeah, it looks like it won't go everywhere, and then all of a sudden, boom. That looks much better, doesn't it? Yeah, and your cheek looks better, too. That's what I mean. Yeah. Looks yeah. great. So looks so much better. Thoughts. <laughs> so cool. Right? Yeah, I love this. And then here's oh. your, um... This is giving me a little bit of a dewy look, too. Yeah. We should blush. Go ahead. One of these, one of these videos, I just need to do like a yeah, full face and makeup. For exactly, you. we'll do a wedding tutorial. I would love that. Yeah, I would too. The good thing is we've only had, I've only had good experiences with you doing my makeup. Well, yeah, good, but like no, but that was good to prove that you were right and I yeah. was wrong. So you want to trust what you more? Sure. So I had her do my makeup in Palm Beach last year, and it looked. So incredible, but again, I don't wear makeup on my face. I did like a full face. Oh my god, you it reminds me of Clueless when she's like, college girls wore more makeup on their face. Yeah. I don't wear makeup on my face. So when she did it, I just was like, I don't like the way it feels on me. So the next night we went out and it photographed beautifully. It looked amazing. Everyone gave me compliments. But the next night I was like, Krista, I don't need the full face. Like just do my just do my eyes. My under eyes. No, and my eyes. You did yes. all my eyes. Yes. But because she didn't do the full face. Like, they were flashing, and so it looked like I had these, like, white outline. And, like, I, we need to show you guys the photo them. because it was, like, all of this was white, and everything else was, like, beet red. Like, I looked like a clown. But you couldn't tell until, like, the flat, like, photography kicked right. in. <sighs> so we used Tarte. But never again. We used Tarte Shape Tape just underneath her eyes, and then I baked it with Laura Mercier. Yes, and you did. Um, and so that's what we did, and... Like, she looked good. Her eyes were amazing. Yeah, you amazing. couldn't tell. Right. And then we took flash at night, and because she didn't have anything on the rest of her face, it was like, you just have much more like a, a red, rosy complexion. Yeah. I was like, sun-kissed. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my God. God. And you got burnt. Right. And if I hadn't have had this experience, the next time would have come across would have been my wedding day. Because I would have said to like a professional photographer, like, oh, uh, or makeup, like, I don't like my face, like makeup i don't like makeup like just do my eyes and then my photos would have come back like this like thank god we had this experience it was so bad what do you think about this foundation love it doesn't it look good yeah it, it feels doesn't really feel like it feels anything. great so here's is this something new that you just got yeah did your face oil your lips look good too oh i just have chapstick on oh oh just chapstick thanks Okay, here Ooh. it is. You're not going to be able to show them, can you? Are you? Yeah, I'll just zoom in. Uh, the first try, if you have really dry skin, just be aware and exfoliate before you use it. <laughs> exactly. But your skin really looks so much better now anyway. It doesn't, yeah. That your cheek doesn't even have dry on yeah, it. Yeah, not at all. Okay, so this is the... Oh my god, the photo. <laughs> And what's even crazier is like we took a photo like first in like the night and it was like so bad She was like, oh my god fix it fix it And so what we did is we covered up her nose because it was like white white and then like red and so we covered up her nose And now it's just like white <laughs> The whole thing it just couldn't be worse. It looks really good It doesn't feel like anything either. I don't feel like I have anything on I mean, it's all my lips a little. Right, that was the one thing I was like, well, just cover up my lips, and that's how you could tell, but other than that. Yeah. All right, so we are going to film our video, and I will check you guys in a bit. Should I take this off? No, I it's can. hilarious, but we should talk about it. Okay. Well, we will. Because you're just in a full face <laughs> and a robe. But not even a full face. I'm wearing an oil and blush. You look like you have a lot more. I have, we, so I filmed it. Oh. Put on the oil. Put on a little bit of bronzer yep. right here, and then blush, and then like a touch of mascara and a touch of brow gel. Got it. That is kind of a lot. Like, like, yeah, exactly. but that's like not even like a full face. Your skin looks really good right now. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, looks really good. Gosh, we'll have to get some of that. Yeah. Where do I get it's it? Sephora. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's forty-two bucks. Ugh. Yeah. All right. All right. Ashley just left at six o'clock. My makeup is still looking so good. And it doesn't feel like makeup. So I'm into it. Um, but now I'm just going to start editing the video. Posting tonight, we just finished Money Heist. Ashley just finished Money Heist. I watched the last episode with her. Which was actually really fun to do because I haven't seen it in a while and I like loved the um, show. So... I'm here for it, and um, I'll probably check in with you guys a little bit later, probably around like dinner time. Um, Andrew's not home until like nine tonight. I don't even remember the last time we checked in, but it's 11 o'clock. My makeup still looks really good. This foundation I am loving, loving it, OMG. Um, watching the North Carolina Duke game. Duke is really pooping the bed here. 
This is my back scratcher. Andrew just got home. Um, we I had caprese and mac and cheese for dinner. Not at the same time, but it was delicious. Still haven't heard back from my email. I'm hoping that is a good sign because he's like just waiting to move on to the next round, you know? Because if it was like no, he would just tell me now. Hopefully, I don't know. I get anxious every time I think about it. I don't want to think about it. So, don't ask. Um, I will tell you either way what it happens. And hopefully Andrew will hurry up and we will do the challenge because I was on tonight. Because I gotta wash that before we go to Vegas. Oh, oh, what, what, what? Uh, I get distracted watching college basketball. I love college basketball. So, yeah, tomorrow, bar three with Kelly, um, who, if I'm not going to Dito's class, I want to go to Kelly. She's, like, so hard. And then I'll come home, pack, and then go off to Vegas. Andrew still has no idea of the surprise that's coming for him, and it's going to be lit. I guess I can tell you guys what it is, because this will be published after. 